welcome to a dry land food forest. I'm currently in the Green England Desert site in Jordan, where there are the first dates I've ever been able to eat straight off of the tree. An incredible thing to be able to do. Um, they've evolved the site over 10 years to be able to host um, all sorts of things. I've even managed to put in citrus, although the citrus is looking quite sick. So maybe it's too early in the succession to be planting citrus trees, but an incredible feat nonetheless. Look at that. That's a much healthier looking citrus tree. Very nice. So they've got all sorts of classic uh, sort of things. They've got the uh, Tacoma stands. They've got olives. They've got dates. They've got citrus. Well, we must be in the Mediterranean, no? Um, what they've done is they've planted all sorts of support species. You see there's a lot. There's a lot of support species reaching out. Alacajarina, there's Leucina. There's all sorts of things that are producing abundant soil for the ground so that we can create good organic matter so that we don't get citrus trees getting too sick. Over here, they have their organic matter producing machine. It's their chicken system. Very similar to the system in Zechina, where I lived. It's like um, one ton of compost seed produced a week. Start up the top with straw fertilised by chicken poo, mixed with all sorts of other organic materials, put it into a pile, turn it down, boom, 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 boom. And then by the end you have this. So start up the top. I'll have you, I'll give you a view from here. So at the top with that big pile you can sort of see in the shadow, which is full of undecomposed organic matter, and then boom, 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 you get, oh fuck, you can get that thing at the end if you can kind of see it. The boom, 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 boom. Now down here is the wicking beds. Um, I think this used to be a garden, but they changed to a more water conserving method which is the wicking bed most produ food produced for least water it's a little reservoir of water cut into an IBC container an international bulk container um, they've cut it in half they've put some gravel then some sand a membrane and then some soil covered it with mulch planted some plants and the plants are going to grow and not need a lot of water the water will be stored underneath very cool. And here is their nursery where they're putting up trees and all sorts of groovy things to get planted. I'll take this with me. There's a tree that needs potting. There's a kitchen, more dates, dates everywhere. Oh my god, isn't it just the best thing? Isn't it just the best thing? But up here is a pretty incredible view. You kind of get the real contrast of what is going on here. Make sure you see some groovy trees, you see some beautiful buildings, you see some beautiful work, but what's the context? What are we working with? What are we looking at? Right now it looks pretty easy to grow in, yeah? And then you look at that and you go, okay, maybe it's a little bit more difficult than it seems down there. Maybe it's a little bit more amazing. And then you have a look and you go, wow. And that truly is greening the desert. A student of Jeff, who's just across the road, and she has a young site over there. Fuck. Oh my god. Beautiful. Isn't it nice to see a green wave ripple across? It is quite a wonderful thing to see. Quite a wonderful thing to see indeed. So up here we have wicking beds being replicated again and again and again, so we can grow some food on the rooftops. Not just be concrete. So I'll get to it and I'll stop banging on.